Jean. Oh, how are you doing? I'm just uh, going straight into it. I've already started. I thought I'll do a little bit and then uh, it'll be drying before I press record. And well, I've been having fun. So what today's Art Vent calendar live stream is about is the creative pad and washi that came out, uh, washi tape that came out this year. But I've pulled out all of my creative papers. So, but the thing that I'm specifically talking about is this creative paper pad. So they're loose sheets. Uh, so it's not a, technically a pad anymore. It was at one point and then there was just really no point because you kind of stretch the paper when you're pulling it out of a pad. But these are the different, oh, I've got them on here actually, it might be easier to show you, the different designs that are on the back there. Uh, so there's eight, two, four, six, that making sure. And it's just a lovely uh, paper that you can turn into a little journal if you like. I might do that too actually. One, two, I'm just going to pick out a few papers to do that with. Why not? It's actually a really nice weight of paper and I might use some of the papers from the other sets. So I'll just, the ones that I use though will have to be designs that um, maybe don't have the face in them. So doo -doo -doo. I'm just grabbing a few here with my other hand. Oh, well that might be. And then I can just fold this in half, make a little journal. But we'll do that as a separate thing. Uh, because I'm having fun with this so oh you know what we could also do I've just had another idea as well mm, many ideas okay so we've got the creative papers um, comfort tissue here as well some of these things we don't have anymore they're uh, from past collections but you know I've hoarded them and I have them hey Debbie hey Zandra hey Carol Michelle April Oh, Christine, thank you for joining me. My shirt does match my journal pages, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. And what I'm creating in, I suppose I better tell you, is uh, this is a vintage book. If I just move this, hold that. Will that work? And I've already started getting the paper ready. Uh, this is a vintage book from the 50s and I've already... Uh, stripped it, uh, painted the pages, I've got a little, little bit of a face shape in there already and I've got joyful gesso underneath but goodness knows what else and this is from one of the papers that's in this set. Let me show you. I love this. I think I created her during a live stream as well. Hmm. I've been doing this for quite some time having fun live. Why don't then I have to edit the video? You say it's wonderful. <laughs> Keeps me on my toes. So her legs are a bit long, so I'll have to, I'll chop that off in a minute. And well, I'll have to amalgamate, but I've got again this bubble headed thing going on that we've had. Um, I'm in that zone now. And I was thinking maybe I'll add a bit of collage onto here. Collage is fantastic because it adds a bit of strength to the paper especially for something like this which is a vintage paper and the brush that I'm using for this is a flat 14 in the um, arabesque set so for the acrylics I'm just putting that all over it what I've got underneath here is obviously um, acrylic or permanent I think it's tattoo ink that neon pink and I'm just going to add I don't like these See the picture underneath. This is the thing with a lot of the vintage books that I love to collect. The uh, stories themselves just don't pass uh, the, the scrutiny, our modern scruples are a bit, no. So we just, bye bye. Goodbye. So I'm making a little nest of collage this is a wonderful thing to do when you don't know when you want to do something but you're a little bit don't know what you want to do so doing a bit of collaging 
uh, like painting a bit of a background or doing a bit of book altering. It's just a nice little thing. So all I've done here is just rip up some of these papers and I'm putting the collage medium down. This is the uh, collage medium. That's the larger bottle, the new one. And this is the little one. I'm using this, the bigger one, because, 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 because. And then I just fill up that little guy for smaller amounts. So I might actually use up the little fairy space. So this uh, body is from one page. And because this is a thicker paper, I might use the wings as well. For a splash of blue. And let's use this lacy print also. Sort of, I'll connect her to this somehow in a minute. We'll just see where we go. I'm just creating a little pathway, a river, a dance. So I put the matte medium down, place that on like a, use it as a glue and then put this over the top. Then I'm not creating on this paper, it doesn't matter what it is. So if I was doing vintage papers or something else, um, I always tend to use too much as well because the alternative is not good when you don't have enough uh, matte medium on the top. That's not good. That's not good. It can be a bit of an issue. So I'm going to pop her in there. We're making a little matte medium sandwich like the bread. The matte medium underneath, put the fillings in and then we matte medium uh, over the top and it's the matte medium over the top that's actually more important than even having it underneath. Well I suppose they're both important. Now I can also use a washi tape like this as well. Washi the, and these are the collections of washi tapes that came out this year that I did with Creative Expressions. There's the Imagine set and the Dreamer set. The colours are so gorgeous. Can I open this one? Is this stuck down? Even the little box is so cute. So this one's got the little fairies on it. I might use that. That and this one. I've got them in... Um, this is just my little pristine set that I keep for posterity. I, do, I try and keep one of everything uh, for my collection, for my museum. <laughs> I actually need a whole separate space now for all of that. Uh, so here I've got some of the washi gorge. Actually that one's not bright enough, I want to go. I'm going to use this one. <gasps> now I've got the matte medium there, it might be a bit slippery around. But you can just use your washi tape like this too. As long as we put the matte medium over the top. It's actually better if I use the uh, matte medium, uh, sorry if it was dried off, but it'll be fine. Uh, but I do want that matte medium on the top of it so that I'm not creating on top of <sighs> washi tape. I'm creating on top of the matte medium. So this is, to incorporate this into the collage it's better if I don't have the matte medium under it but this, because it is what it is, that's what we're doing. Just because it doesn't like the wet, it might curl up a little bit so I just have to uh, Yeah, well, she's funny how it doesn't stick on sticky stuff. It likes a nice bit of dry paper. It's fair enough. Uh, so this one over here is dry, but I don't need it there. I need it here. Okay, so I'll just pop it on there for the time being. Let that dry off a little. So I've got another, this will be another little creature happening here. Uh, and this is starting to get dry over here, so oh, I could use a bit of washi. I've got a washi tape that I designed that's exclusive to my website, but I don't know if I've got any of this left. 
to be honest, but this is hair. That's kind of fun. Do I still have this? I think. Uh, sorry, I'm just out of curiosity to myself. I've got to have a quick little look. Oh no, I do still have some. Oh man, that is in its final little stages. But this is called tresses. Sorry. Yes, Godiva tresses, like Lady Godiva. And I might just use a little bit. Potentially, let's see. See, and we've got flowing hair. But I'll end up covering that. Does that matter? Does it matter? I don't know. Might even put some in here. Hurry up and dry, please. Because a little bit of black and white just sharpens things up a bit. Collaging is fun because you can try different ideas and just see where they take you. Especially something that's very easily terrible like this. And if I don't like this, it's very easy for me to tear it off again and redo it. But I'm sort of thinking, what if this is her dress? But do I, do I, know, do I want bright colours? Ah, eh, let's just do it and see what happens. But the idea of this is actually so you can create hair with the washi uh, tape and it's already swirling and whirling. But I want to keep that there was a young lady but I'm just showing you just sort of so you get the idea. She looks like she's got antlers at the moment. But And we can get really weird with it because look, <laughs> I've also got these washy eyes, so that one's around the right way, and these are sets of eyes. It's washy, but it's they're just they're like stickers. Oh, this one's all in a bit of a mess. I just need to be a bit gentler with it, but I could. We could really start playing with the proportions. <laughs> I kind of like it. Might just move that a little. Oh dear, and because I've, that's wet underneath, well, that's going to stay there because if I lift that, it's going to rip all the thing off. Okay, well, we're going experimental today. Oh, that's a washi tape from my trip to Japan. What have I got there? This is one of the washies that's, is this on my website or is this? Some are exclusive to my website and some I've done with Creative Express. I've got different collaborations and some are with um, other collaborations. But, okay, so that one was there. Where was this one? Okay, that is, okay, this is one of mine, I think. Meaning it's exclusive to my website. Some of them you can get on other, you could get like at Michael's um, or you could get, not anymore, but just like back in the day. I'm just going to put these little girls' faces and I might, we'll let these connect. Help connect these pages. I don't know about you, but I have a massive collection of washi tape. and But I can't use a lot of it because it's not my design. So, oh, this is an old one. I think this is one of my very first ones. I better make sure I've got these in my records. Oh, 
sounds a little bit of a freighter then. Now this has turned into, I've gone into washi mode and couldn't be happier. <laughs> I'm like a little clam. This is fabulous if you've, especially if the paper's fragile and if you've got damage down here, this sort of thing can really help uh, stage a rescue. I've got this perfect little colourful piece. Oh, that's too damp. Oh well. I'll wash it over it later. I'm going to add an eye in here as well. Just why not? Especially if it's the other way around. Here we go. So this is exclusive to my website, The Little Washy Eyes. <laughs> Get crazy. And this is the washy hair. And there's this one as well. So I might use this. But just because that's the design inspiration, it's like my art foam is, the inspiration is ancient Greece, but it doesn't, that's not how you can only use them. Do you know what I mean? Like uh, everything has to be versatile, a versatile thing. Otherwise, you know, it's not really very fabulous if it's not versatile. Okay, so now she's got like a party dress and this one's got her party dress. And I'm really just fully playing. See how this one's got like all crazy little plaits and things? too much fun okay so different wash oh I should really use this one because this is the washi of that paper but I can use it in other ways as well so I let me move this out of the way this craziness and we'll let that dry and we'll bring this over <laughs> 